All right, this is fifth grade, module six, lesson 18. And in this lesson, we're going to be continuing to draw symmetrical figures. Uh, this time, we're going to be doing it on a coordinate plane. And eventually, we're going to be looking at some really cool patterns with those uh, coordinate pairs in a symmetrical figure. So let's get started. So the directions say to use this plane over here and uh, follow all these rules, basically follow all these steps. So draw a line S whose rule is X is always 5. So what is a line going to look like if X is always 5? Well, if X is always 5, that line is going to look like this. Because that line is right where the x value is always a 5. So there is step A. Now step B says plot the points from table A on the grid in order and then draw line segments to connect those points. All right, so let's do that. It's kind of a classic assignment to do. So 113 goes right here. Uh, 112 goes right here. Uh, 210 goes right here. Uh, four nine. Let's see. Four nine goes way over here. Uh, four three goes right there. One two goes right there, and five two goes right there. And we are supposed to connect those dots. So we will connect those dots. So there, we've connected those dots. And now, step B says, uh, oh, no, step C, complete the drawing to com create a figure that is symmetric about line S. Okay, so I'm going to do that, and I'll do it in, uh, let's do it in blue. All right. And so basically what we're doing is if or since... This, this right here is, let's see, one, two, three, four units away. That means my dot is going to be one, two, three, four units away on the other side, which means my dot's going to go right there. And if we're going to continue this dot right here, then I can see that this is three dots away. So one, two, three. I can see that's only one dot away. So I'm going to continue, and I can see that that's one dot away. This looks like one, two, three, four dots away. So the dot's going to go right there, and then the blue and the black dot, they coincide. They go on top of each other. And so there is our picture. And then we're supposed to connect those dots. It kind of looks like a goblet, some sort of drink goblet kind of a thing. And we are supposed to complete that and then uh, record your points. All right, so if we're going to record our points, we've got 9, 13. So that's going to be 9, 13. And then we have right here 9, 12. 9, 12. And then we have right here, so that's going to be 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 10. 8, 10. And then let's see. And that's here, then 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Oh, so now we've got this one. So that's going to be 6, 9. 6, 9. And then we've got, let's see, 6, 3 right there. So that's this guy right there. And then we have 9, 2. 9, 2. And then lastly, we have 5, 2. They match. They coincided, didn't they? 5, 2. Now, your task is to look at 
uh, these points and compare them with these points and talk about the differences between the y-coordinates and the x-coordinates. What do you see? What patterns are you noticing? This one is exactly the same. The only difference is we have a different line of symmetry. So our line of symmetry is the line P whose rule is Y is equal to X. So that means our line of symmetry is going to go in this beautiful diagonal here. And so that is going to go, let's see, dot, 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 like that. So I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to make that kind of a thicker line here. And so our line of symmetry is going to look like this. There is our line of symmetry. And we are going to plot these points. And I'm going to go as fast as I can here. So we've got one half, one half. So that's going to go right there. And then we have one, two. So that's going to go there. Then we've got one and a half, one and a half. So one and a half, one and a half, that goes right there on that line. Two comma four, it's gonna go right there. Then we have three and a half, three and a half. When the numbers are the same, that means we know it's gonna land on the, on the line, because that was the definition of the line in the first place. And then we have four comma four and a half. So that's going to be just barely above the line. And then finally, 5, 5. All right. So there is our figure that we have created. So it looks like this. All right. And so now what we're going to do is we need to figure out where our points would go on the other side of that purple line so that we have created a symmetrical figure. So let's do that in blue. And the idea would be, I can see that this is like one little diagonal away, which means my line of symmetry is going to go right here. And then similarly, I can see that this point right here is like a diagonal, a diagonal. So two diagonals away, so I'm going to extend it two diagonals, and that's going to go right here. All right, oopsies. There. And of course, these lines right there are repeaters, right? They were black, and now they're also blue. And I can see that this guy right here is like half of, half of a diagonal off of the line, so I'm going to need to put the other blue one right there, and then, of course, the blue goes there. So our figure is really kind of cool. It's going to look like this, to this, to this, there, there, and there. So there is our symmetrical figure around the, this purple line. All right. So now what your task is to do is to look at all these points. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven points, and your job is to look at the coordinate po points, coordinate pairs, and write them down, and then look for some really cool patterns. And I'm going to leave that up to you. And that wraps up uh, fifth grade, module six, lesson 18. Students are drawing symmetrical figures on a coordinate plane using logic, and then they're looking for patterns.